everybody. I'm going to start off with completely no makeup today because my skin's really dry and I feel like the more I put on to start with, it may just make it worse. Um, so I want to start practicing painting on my eyes more because that's one thing I find really difficult. So instead of just doing an eye on the eye, I want to make it a big eye. So I thought I'd just do like a magnifying glass and you can see it bigger. I'll probably just voice over what I'm doing um, because I don't really know how I'm going to go about it yet. I'm just going to do it as I go along. So I will get into the video now. So I want to start off by outlining the whole design. So to make the round frame of the magnifying glass, I'm just going to paint the rim of a Snazaroo lid and just press that against my face. And then carrying on with a white, and this is Snazaroo clown white, I'm just going to carry on doing the rest of the outline of the design. So that was the handle of, of the magnifying glass. And then I'm just going to really roughly do the eye. And then I'm just going to start colouring in the white of the eye as well with this face paint. And then carrying on with some Diamond FX face paint. This is a just a green that's in the palette and I'm just going to pop that as a base colour for my pupil. And then, no, is that pupil iris? I can't remember. And then I'm going to get a blue just to add a bit more dimension. And then a dark blue just to create the rim and just start feathering it inwards to create the little lines that you can see in the eye. I kept looking at my eye to keep seeing what colours I got in there and I had a bit of brown as well and yellow and it took quite a while just to keep seeing what there was because I didn't want it to look too flat, I wanted it to have a lot of detail in there. So basically just a lot of little lines. And then starting from the middle for the actual pupil, I'm going to get a black and start feathering it out and then draw the black circle in the middle. And now I'm moving on to eyeshadow and I just got a black eyeshadow and very very lightly I'm just going to start shading the top of the eye so it will show the sh shadow of where the eyelid will be. And then with some concealer I'm just going to colour in the rest of my skin just to make it look a little bit neater. And then going back with some eyeshadow, this is a brown eyeshadow now and I'm just going to outline the bottom of the eye and then do that little pinky in a corner as well and then I'm just going to go again over top just to make that waterline of the eye. Create a little bit of shadow underneath the eye with a big fluffy brush and some creases with a dark dark brown and this is all with um, eyeshadow still with a bit of pink face paint I'm just going along the waterline and the inner corner just to make it pop a little bit more and then the really detailed bit and fiddly bit doing lots of little eyelashes and I can't do realistic eyelashes at all it really annoys me I wish I could but basically I'm just using a very very light hand and just doing lots of little lines and then going on to the top as well and this is with a black face paint now and quite a watered down black face paint because I found that made it a little bit easier to get nice fine lines but then I decided to keep going over it and make it <laughs> a lot thicker eyelashes it just seemed to look a bit better with more eyelashes not the most realistic but never mind and then to make the eye look a bit more realistic in color I just got a really peachy pink just for the inner corner and that was an eyeshadow just to fade out and then with a red face paint again really watered down so it's easier to use I'm just going to do some little veins in my eye and then with a white face paint the finishing highlights and going on to the actual eyeball with the highlights as well and then using the black just to feather some shadows of the actual eyelashes so I'm just putting um, foundation across my whole face now and then finishing off the other eye so it sort of matches the magnified eye a little bit and then just going around with a black face paint on the whole frame of the magnifying glass and then I needed to touch it up a bit so it looked a bit more circular it's so hard doing circles and it depends on what angle you're looking at where it will just actually stay looking like a circle and then I just did the handle all in black as well and then once I coloured that all in I just got a white and just sort of started adding some textures and details just to make it look a bit more realistic really and that is the finished look for it Thank you so much for watching. I realised I didn't actually paint much on my eyelid after all that wanting to practice painting on my eyelid. Never mind, I've got loads more ideas that I want to do this sort of thing. Like I want to do like water splashing on my face and there's loads of things I've got in my brainicles. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like if you like and subscribe if you like. And if you do, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!